Greetings, New Life Church. Pastor Lane here. Uh, been a long time, and as you can see, we are on the other side of COVID, and uh, it's taking a little time to, to get readjusted and get strength back and everything else. I believe that days 7 through 11 were horrible, <laughs> but God pulled through. Uh, during the time when I was probably at my weakest, Brenda played some Christian songs, and one that just stood out to me was, let me tell you about my Jesus. And that's what I, I want to say right now. Let me tell you about my Jesus. He didn't just rescue me from my sins by the stripes that he took he bore my infirmities and by his stripes we were healed I thank God for his healing power uh, COVID has been a very wicked thing maybe I didn't fully understand how bad it was until now but many of you either have gone through it are, are facing it now and I pray for you uh, God has given Brenda and I great compassion for the go for those that go through this debilitating thing for the younger ones they go through a little bit easier than the older ones but uh, there are still people struggling right now and we need to continue to pray uh, I believe that everybody that I know of in the church that is coming through this is beginning to come through this and so uh, while we have been shut down for a little while uh, Sunday mornings and Wednesday nights I believe the Lord's turning all that around in fact I believe that God has given me a, a great word for this coming Sunday and I am thrilled to bring it uh, looking forward to seeing what the Holy Ghost is going to speak to so many so I want to encourage you this coming Sunday November 14th. We're going to be going back to a full-blown service again and so looking forward to welcoming everyone uh, back to church. Uh, maybe even some new faces. You never know. Uh, invite someone and let's see what the Lord's going to do. But here's the thing that I, I want. The thing that I'm asking is that when you come in, don't come in thinking let's just do church. Come in with an open heart to the Lord to let him do his work he has a work that he wants to do and I don't want to I don't want to give too much away but I'm just telling you God is going to reset some foundations in a way that we may have never seen coming there's nothing new under the sun but what has always been established in heaven so often is forgotten of easily when we get distracted by the things going on around us, our own imaginations, our hearts, our misunderstandings, and God wants to cleanse us of all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. And so I want to encourage you also to let you know that uh, on the, the 17th, I believe, November 17th will be the first Wednesday night that we get back together again. And so our full-blown Wednesday night services will begin to happen uh, one week from this recording. Today is the 10th that I'm recording this. It'll be seen tomorrow on the 11th. So next Wednesday, we're going to crank up our Wednesday nights again. And I, I know that Thanksgiving is right around the corner, but we're going to open the doors and get everything moving again. Give opportunities for people to come to know Jesus. So here's the challenge. There are those that are out there and they're hurting. They're confused. They've had a taste of religion and they didn't like it, and rightfully so. And we want to give them life. We want life to flow through this church. It's in our name, New Life Church. We want to operate from the tree of life, not from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, finding everybody's flaws and faults and failures and, and exploit those, but to lift up the name of Jesus, to lift up the blood of Jesus, which cleanses us of all of unrighteousness. So my challenge is not only to get prepared to come to church Sunday, but get prepared to bring someone to church Sunday. 
invite someone who needs Jesus in their lives, not as a, a statement of judgment over them, but as compassion for them. We were once lost as well, all of us, including me, and we all need him. And if we get to thinking that we bring something to the table, then we're missing a point. In him, we live and move and have our being. Every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights. Everything good in us is because of him. And we need to grab that truth so that he is free to move and touch people's lives, to lift them up out of bondage, to bring them deliverance and healing that they so desperately need, and to solidify us in our confidence, not in ourselves, but in Christ, in the blood of the Lamb, in the Lamb that was slain, but yet lives and sits on the right hand of the Father. Our trust and confidence is in Him. But make no bones about it. Our confidence is in Him. He will not fail. He will not fail to bring His Word to pass. And so chasing after these truths gives Him free reign to move through our lives. And there's nothing greater. There's nothing greater. Being a believer doesn't exclude us from the hardships of this life. Being a believer is what strengthens us to overcome the issues of this life. And so I want to challenge you, saints. I want you to pray. God, not only am I going to get something this Sunday, Lord God, I'm going to bring somebody with me who needs to get something this Sunday. And we can enter into worship and we can enter in to the word and we can give the Holy Spirit free reign to do whatever he wants to do. There's peace in this truth. Now, here's, here's the other side. I want to pray and I'm asking you to join me in prayer for all those that are, that are going through the battles, whether it's COVID or depression, or whatever it is that's attacking them. Let's stand in the gap for them. Will you join me right now? Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, I don't come before you in my own righteousness. I come before you in the righteousness of the name of Jesus and the power of the blood of the Lamb. I pray for every individual right now that is so overwhelmed by their circumstances, whether it's in the physical realm, whether it's in the emotional realm, it could be financial or relational, whatever it is, it's been debilitating them. And I pray for them by the power of the name of Jesus. Let me tell you about my Jesus. Lord God, I pray that you move to rescue. Begin to draw those to yourself that you want to liberate and set free. And Father, we give you the praise and all the glory for healing in every realm, not in one realm or another, but in every possibility of realm. Lord God, I pray for you to move by your spirit and set your people free. Free to trust you, free to honor you, free to worship you, free to lift up your name. Father, I thank you for this small moment in time to encourage the body. Lord God, that you can be trusted. And Father, we praise you and thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. Looking forward to seeing you this coming Sunday and the following Wednesday. And let's just see what the Lord's going to do in somebody's life. Amen. God bless you, saints. And we're going to see y'all this Sunday.